This morning, with the election less than a month away, new questions emerging about the impact on the campaigns, with the president in the hospital battling coronavirus. The president temporarily sidelined, leaving the vice president in a crucial position. He'll be hitting the trail, be in Arizona, he'll probably be in Nevada, he'll be back here in D.C., and he's going to have a very full aggressive schedule. Biden testing negative Sunday for a third time after last week's potential exposure continues full speed ahead. Now jumping to a 14-point lead in a new NBC News Wall Street Journal poll following last week's debate. And we're going to we're going to eliminate those tax cuts. Okay. Today Biden will be on the trail in Florida and part of an NBC town hall tonight in Miami. We have been adhering to uh, public health guidance from the beginning of this uh, onset of this pandemic. Vice President Pence and Senator Kamala Harris head to Salt Lake City for their debate Wednesday, which now has revised safety measures. The candidates spaced 12 feet apart instead of seven. And the next presidential debate is still scheduled 10 days from now. But the president's health remains in question. So he is very hopeful about getting back out there in short order uh, when the doctors deem it appropriate. The president's illness, of course, means that he is not holding those large-scale rallies that he relies on while campaigning, at least for now. The virus has also hit advisors close to the president, including key members of his debate prep team, making these next few weeks even more complicated for the president in the lead-up to Election Day. Craig? Our senior Washington correspondent, Andrew Mitchell, for us there. Andrew, thank you. And a reminder, you can watch that town hall with Joe Biden, hosted by Lester Holt. That's tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern, 7 o'clock Central, only on NBC.